What's up, y'all? We're back. Happy Sunday. Today, we are getting groovy in the kitchen, and we are going to be bringing you guys some um, uh, traditional Mexican dish, which is called albomigas. Today is a rainy day. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably can't see that, but it's raining outside. Uh, so we wanted to make something warm, something good, and something that we can eat for the next couple days. So today, I got my son Mateo. He's gonna be doing all the cutting for us. He's been getting a lot better at his cuts. And we got the beautiful Baylin. She's gonna be helping us make the albondiga balls. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We got everything pretty much set up for you guys. Um, all the seasonings that are gonna go into it. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. First, we're, we're doing our albondigas with uh, ground turkey so we got two pounds of ground turkey and to that we're going to be adding two teaspoons of black pepper two teaspoons of oregano two teaspoons of garlic salt half a uh, teaspoon of regular salt and half a teaspoon of ground cumin and Baylin's going to go ahead and dump that into our ground turkey go ahead dump it in there baby okay. yep right in there there you go to that, we are also going to be adding two eggs. Uh. All right, we're going to go ahead and start mixing. Once you get the egg broken up, we can go ahead and add our other ingredients, which is going to be about a half a cup of uh, cilantro. Uh, a quarter of a white onion, two garlic uh, cloves minced, and one chipotle chili with adobo. So go ahead and add that to this now, baby. This? Yep. Go ahead and add it right into here. Good job. Make sure we get all that. We want to get all that garlic in there because we're only using two small garlic cloves. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that really, really good. Just go ahead and mix it till all the ingredients are spread out. The chipotle pepper, it's gonna break, it breaks up really easily. So just make sure you gotta tear it up a little bit, you can. Okay, now that we got everything nice and mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of uncooked rice. Uh, why is it uncooked? It's uncooked because then once we, it's gonna help us form up the balls and then we're gonna be able to, then we're gonna put it in the boiling water. So we'll cook then, if we put it in now, it, it might deteriorate. So we'll Can go I ahead and, it? yeah, go ahead and mix it. Put your hands in there, get dirty. <laughs> Can I do anything take a shower today? You already took a shower today? No, mm -hmm. I already, yeah. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix it really, really good. Ah. This is gonna, the rice is actually gonna help you keep the little balls together. So now, I would grab a small, small bunch. I would say maybe two inch balls. Make sure that they're all nice and even so they all cook evenly the same. You don't want to make some that are bigger and then you know the, the bigger one's not gonna cook fully and the smaller ones are gonna cook more sooner and then the longer they're in there, the, long, uh, the, the more they deteriorate. So, not a, to a size ball and we're gonna go ahead and let they win. Start rolling those out. This recipe is not actually not hard at all. Super simple and really really good. Especially especially for these cold days, huh guys? Yeah. The chipotle pepper um, chili in adobo it's not spicy, so we're gonna be adding more to it. So I mean, it's 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 really good. It's not gonna be too spicy to where the kids can't eat it. Uh, when you cut, you don't want to go like this, right? Because you wanna you wanna you wanna make sure that you you have control of the vegetable, so it doesn't move on you, right? So if you have it like this, you're just holding on to this small piece, and this this heavy piece right here is gonna roll on you. So you want to make sure that you're holding on to the to the back side of it and then you can go ahead and cut it and whatever's cut will fall off to the side. I enjoy cooking with the kids because it, it's 
one teaches them how to cook, but also, you know, good bonding time with them. Teach them some skills. A lot of kids, you know, nowadays don't cook, don't, you know, can't even make a, a cups of noodles in the microwave. So, if you guys have time on Sundays, let your kids join in on you cooking, you know, even if it's just mixing the eggs, you know, um, if it's just, you know, maybe if they like cutting, you know, maybe that's if your knives are too sharp, maybe not let them do that. But I mean, it's they, they got to learn at some point, you know, so just try to get them in there, get them involved. They have fun doing this. Like every, anytime I'm in the kitchen, sometimes I'm like, I don't want, I, it's not that I don't want their help, but I'm like, really, we're all hung, getting angry. And it's like, I know I can bust out the dinner in like 20 minutes. And they're like, Dad, can I help you? And I'm like, not today, because we, we're hungry, you know? This takes a little bit longer, because obviously we're making a video, and I'm letting them do the cutting and stuff like that. But if you have time, you know, let them get involved. Let them jump in there and, you know, learn something. When they get older, they'll remember the days that they were cooking with their daddy making YouTube videos. Hi, huh, guys. Yeah. Okay. So. These are our albondiga balls. They are ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and start making this broth for it here in a second. Okay, we got Mattel cutting still. We're gonna now get started on making our tomato broth. Uh, you'll need about five tomatoes. Um, so you need five tomatoes, three of the chipotle adobo uh, chilies. We'll need two garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of uh, ground cumin, and I put about four four tablespoons of the um, uh, chicken bouillon. You can use half chicken, half beef, uh, but if you don't have both, then just go ahead and use the four tablespoons of the chicken bouillon. Uh, later, if you need to add more, if you guys want, you know, just taste it. If you need more chicken bouillon for flavor, then you can go ahead and add that. Quarter uh, of an onion. And then our ingredients, the chicken bouillon, the two garlic cloves, and the ground cumin. Go ahead and add that. And we're gonna add five cups of water to that. And go ahead and blend it. Okay guys, so now that we went ahead and blended our tomatoes, we're gonna go ahead and add that to our pot at medium heat and let that come to a simmer. With that, we're gonna add two quarts of water to that. We're gonna go ahead and let that come to a simmer and then we'll be able to add our bonigas once, that, uh, once that's done. Mattel's still kinda, uh, he's chopping up the chayote. Vegetables are almost ready. We'll go ahead and add the corn first because it, it's the one that takes longest to cook. So our broth just came to the simmer. So at that point, we're gonna go ahead and add our meatballs. You just throw them right in there. And once that comes to the simmer, after adding these, once that comes to the simmer, We'll go ahead and add our vegetables. All right, y'all, we're back. I'm gonna bring you guys with me so you guys can see what we got going on. So, this is come to a boil. We're gonna go ahead and add our vegetables to it now. Okay. Looks like we're gonna be needing to add a little bit of water to this, which is totally fine. Go ahead and mix that in first. There we go. You guys see the albondigas are already kind of firming up? Beautiful. Make sure you're at medium heat. You don't want it to cook too fast, you know. Um, let it take its time, you know. The best things in life take a little longer. I'm telling you from experience. But, um, so yeah, just 
a nice little mix, get all the vegetables in there. Might need to add a little bit of water to that. Go ahead and taste, you know, a little taste. You might need to add a little bit of a, uh, let's see. Oh boy. Okay guys, so while we're waiting for the soup to, uh, the vegetables to cook, uh, I thought I'd make a quick little salsa, chile de aceite. So, I think it will go really, really good with the albondi, guys. Give it that extra, extra spiciness to it. We like it hot. So, uh, in a saute pan, go ahead and add some canola oil. Go ahead and fry maybe like four to five garlic cloves. We're just gonna toast those up real quick. Then we'll add them to the blender. We're gonna toast up some chile de arbol. Super easy, it takes like two seconds, I promise. When I mean toasted, I mean like, just give them a nice little, I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, toast them up a little bit. The best thing about this salsa is it lasts till you finish it. It doesn't go bad. So, you'll have some leftovers, so when you eat some, some more cuddle, you can have it on deck. So, go ahead and take those out. Add them to your blender, right? Nice and toasted. Then, we're to the same pan, saute pan, we're gonna add the chile de arbol. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the rest of this in there. We're gonna toast those up. Try not to let them burn. You gotta be moving them because these ones actually burn up really, really quick. And everybody's gonna start coughing here in a second. So, <laughs> open up the windows when you do these for show. See how quick they'll go ahead and. Uh, Start turning color on you, so we'll go ahead and add those now to our blender. Sheesh. Okay, we got our garlic cloves, we got our uh, chili de arbol in there. Go ahead and add some oil, as much as you Want, I would uh I think that should be good for me so I put it in about looks like it's about uh looks like it's about a cup of oil so all you gotta do is blend it add some salt to it blend it and should be good Add too much salt, just a little, nice little pinch. Add that to that. Close that up. Blend it. And that's it. Easy money. Not right now. Okay, so. Chile, the aceite is ready. Go ahead and pour it into one of your containers. It does not need to be refrigerated. It's ready to go. You'll have some chile de aceite for months to come. Maybe even years. Some people add uh, peanuts or almonds to them. You can add them to it. I don't have any almonds or peanuts on deck. Um, so. Simple little salsa, we'll add that to our albondigas. I think it's gonna give it a nice little kick. Get your boy sweating a little bit. All right, y'all, we're back. It seems like everything's already done. Go ahead and pull out a little bit of the uh, vegetables. Maybe pull out uh, some potatoes or some of the carrots. And if they are soft enough, and they should be good to go. So. 
These are the only times the kids actually eat their vegetables. When we make uh, albondigas, when we make our chicken tortilla soup, they love it. It's just, you know. There's carrots in there, baby. There's chayote, there's potatoes, and there's uh, celery, which is, you know, some of their favorite vegetables. But look at that. Oh, and the corn. I put extra corn in here because Belen will literally eat nothing but corn. And when we make caldos like this, that's all she likes to eat, it's corn. Okay guys, so our caldo del bonding guys is finally done. Everything's soft. I'm gonna show you guys here. We have our uh, turkey, ground turkey al uh, We have some corn, we have our carrots, our potatoes, celery. Look how juicy these are. They're super soft. They're cooked all the way through. They fluffed up a little bit uh, as we cooked them. Because uh, as you guys remember, our balls were a little bit smaller than that, but they cooked just right. It is super hot. I have some of the condiments that we like to add to it. Uh, so we have some of the onion. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. A little bit of cilantro and to top it off usually be with a lime but we didn't have no limes so lemon is just fine go ahead and add that to that and remember we made our chile de aceite so I'm gonna add that just for that extra little kick beautiful Okay, so for our favorite part, the taste test. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in a little bit. It's super hot. So let me give me a sec here. I wanna get a little bit of everything on the first bite. It's always the first bite that gets you. Oh, man, we, we've been cooking for a couple hours, so. Um, takes It only takes a couple hours because we're making the video, but get a little bit of the caldo. Woo! Got some carrots, chayote, potatoes, all that in there. Man, that is so good. It is like perfect. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. The caldo is perfect, well seasoned. The vegetables are nice and soft, nice and tender. The turkey meat, it's, I think it's the first time we do it with the, tur the ground turkey. It is so good. Um, but the caldo, I'm already sweating under this little wig. <laughs> it is perfect for this weather. You guys, you guys gotta go and try this. All right guys, thanks again for watching. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We appreciate all the love and support, but it's time to have dinner. See you guys on the next one. <laughs>